Tennessee had an absolutely massive get last night on the recruiting trail. Five-star wide receiver Mike Matthews gave his commitment to the Tennessee Vols, gave him a commitment over Georgia. He's from the state of Georgia. Gave his commitment over Clemson, over USC. Like he, he picked the Vols and he had a lot of options, did Mike Matthews. So what are they getting in a five-star wide receiver? And Mike Matthews, six foot and a half, 180 pounds, six foot six wingspan. In short, they're getting a playmaker. They're getting a go up and get it kind of guy that's going to win one on one, which is what that offense is built to create and what's built to do. When it's third and six to beat Georgia, you go to him. You you create a one on one to give him a chance. Now, as a true freshman, is that the case? I don't know. Very well could be. But they were fired up to get him a guy that could play both sides of the line of scrimmage in terms of playing defensive back as well, but they love him a wide receiver and think he is a special talent, and a lot of other schools did as well. So what does this mean for Tennessee long-term? What does it say about where they're at as a program? I think there's a lot to unpack with this one, so I want to make sure we do that. Before we get to that, though, I want to talk about bird dogs here a little bit. And bird dogs, I'm going to pull out my, the, my product right here. Bird dogs is bringing you the hard count today. And there's a couple things that I love about bird dogs. The first is they feel great. Okay? They feel really, really good. They're extremely functional. And for me, like, it's just a fact. If you work out, you feel better about life. If you lift weights, the the sun shines brighter, the sky is more blue, the birds are singing, like, life is good. So in order to do that, you got to have the right tools to work out, okay? And bird dogs provides the right look, the right style, the right comfortable feel. It's, it's nice and flexible. It's not those stiff shorts you sometimes have to work out in that don't have enough give to you. So when you get under that squat bar, when it's time to feed the wolf by hitting leg day, bird dog's right here, man. I'm telling you, look at this. Look at this stretch. Look at this stretch. You got some nice liner in there. You're going to take care of you. Look good, feel good, work out good. Everything's good is what I'm trying to tell you. So what we're going to do here, Provide a little, a little promo code. Use code JD at checkout when checking out at birddogs.com. Get you a nice little Yeti-esque kind of tumbler with a Bird Dogs logo on it. Real nice. I'm telling you, you won't want to take them off. Best in the game, Bird Dogs. Appreciate them taking care of us here. So, as I was saying a second ago, when it comes to Tennessee and what this means for them, I go back to what I was saying a second ago. You look at what they've done when it comes to who they won Mike Matthews over. Beat out Georgia for him. Beat out USC for him. Beat out Clemson for him. That is a major indicator of where this team is at right now. And I want to make sure I say this loud and clear. You don't land Mike Matthews if you win the Music City Bowl again this coming season. You don't land Mike Matthews if your offense doesn't score over 40 points a game and look as explosive as they did and beating Alabama like all that. That all added into the ripple effect of landing a top five wide receiver in the entire country that is Mike Matthews. And so I think the encouraging thing, if I'm a Tennessee fan, is, okay, the brand and the product is starting to really speak for itself. We're seeing the ripple effects of that double-digit win season, that New Year's Six Bowl victory, that win against Alabama. Like, you recognize that power tee in a different fashion now if you're a recruit. And so for Tennessee, I think they're breathing new air on the recruiting trail because you have the right resources. You have the right people involved in the operation. You definitely got the right head coach in Josh Heupel. You got a product there that is, like I said, speaking for itself. You have people that care about the program that are putting into the program what is required to recruit how they're recruiting. Tennessee, I don't know if y'all are seeing this right now, they jumped up into the top 10 in the on three industry team recruiting rankings. In the top 10, Tennessee. And I don't think they're done, to be real with y'all. I think they are still on the hunt. And so what does this mean for them now? A couple of things. Obviously, anytime you see Mike Matthews, a five-star wide receiver, commit to a school, you take an extra look at that spot, whether you're a defensive back, whether you're another player on the offensive side of the ball, whatever you are, you look at Tennessee differently saying, huh, five-star wide receiver, choosing Tennessee? That's big time. That's big time. I probably want to go play with him. I maybe want to take my talents to go align with him because that gives us a good chance to score some points and probably win a lot of football games is the expectation there. But even so, I think it positions Tennessee, we've said this a couple times, Big Mo is in the building, is the positioning of Tennessee right now. They they got the momentum right now on the recruiting trail. And the next step for Tennessee is going to be consistency on the field, have another double-digit win season, go and beat a team like Georgia or Alabama or whoever it ends up being, have another signature moment, signature when you can sell to recruits on the recruiting trail. And then when that happens, when you have consistency on the field, 
that typically means you have consistency from a development standpoint, which pairs well with consistency on the recruiting trail. So consistency on the field yields to consistency on the recruiting trail, which then means what? You're stacking classes. And that was the difference in Athens last year. Make no mistake about it. When Tennessee and Georgia met up, Georgia had just stacked more top three classes than Tennessee, and that was the end of it. Like, that was really the difference in that game, the depth that they had. So for Tennessee, if they can build on this now, they can finish strong in this 2024 cycle, finish in the top 10. If they can continue to build off what they did last year on the field and then have that crescendo this coming season, then you have a chance to build that depth. And when you have depth of four and five stars in your two and three deep, then you're saying, okay, there's nothing we can't compete for. And you probably already feel that way right now in Knoxville, and I don't blame you based on who your head coach is and what your quarterback could be in 2023, but I just want to make this very, very clear. Tennessee, I believe, is a powder keg when it comes to the recruiting trail and what they could do on the field in 2023. So the vibes are immaculate right now in Knoxville, Tennessee. Had a lot of people in Tennessee circles absolutely juiced about Mike Matthews. I mean, I was last night at a at a pizza joint, and a Tennessee fan came up to me and was like, hey, we got Mike Matthews. How about that? That's how they're feeling right now. And for good reason. The vibe should be high if you're a Tennessee fan right now. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.